Grading the fidget toys I have in my classroom. These are called Racky Tracks and they're really durable. They last for years. You can create a lot of different shapes with them and they come apart so you can create unique color combinations. Stretchy strings and they live up to their name. They're awesome to stretch and they're great for fidgeting, but it's also a con because then they can hit each other from really far away. They also get really dirty easily and look disgusting. And then when students put knots in them, if they tighten the knots, they're impossible to get out. These are new ones that I just got. I'm gonna put them in my reflection area for when you need to de-stress. They feel amazing. I do anticipate them getting dirty easily though. Rating the fidget toys I have in my classroom. These bicycle chains move so smoothly and the rubber feels amazing. They make so many awesome shapes too. They actually come in a lot of cool colors, but I gave all the cute ones away in the surprise gift bags that I made for my students this summer. So I only have Christmas and Steelers colors to show you. I highly recommend these bracelets. They're something new I got. They're easy to clean, they're really durable, and the rubber spikes have an awesome sensation. In contrast to these, which I do not recommend, they're metal and you can roll them up and down your finger. But personally, I do not like this sensation at all. It actually hurts after a few seconds. They're also not durable at all. My students pull the pieces apart and then I have to throw them away. Rating the fidget toys I have in my classroom. Stress ball edition. I love these dough balls. I always get a ton of them every year. They're also stretchy. And bouncy. I always make sure to get some foam balls because some students prefer that, but they'll dig holes into the foam and I have to throw them away after a few months. I do like that I can buy them to match the color of my room though. This year I got these hearts so that they can't roll off the desks. And these are the most epic stress balls ever. They feel incredible. I was afraid about them getting dirty, but you can wash them. Grading the fidget toys I have in my classroom. The ones that get stolen edition. These tangles are incredible. So incredible that I bought a pack of 20 last year, but I only have one to demonstrate because the rest have disappeared. They come in every color combination you can imagine. The links come apart so you can mix and match with other Tangle Juniors. So these exact flippy ones are not the ones that get stolen. But, as you may have guessed, I don't have any of those to demonstrate because they're all gone. These ones with the smaller circle were so beloved by my students that they didn't even last a week. The ones with the smaller circle are super smooth and easy to manipulate. These big ones, not so much. They're kind of bulky. Rating the fidget toys I have in my classroom. Unsolved mystery edition. I love these mesh and marble fidget toys because they're great to play with, they're cheap, and they last for multiple school years. But this is where it gets weird. Each mesh should have one marble. Someone was taking the marble out of each one and combining them into a different mesh. I know how to get the marble out. That's not the issue. But I have no idea how to get it back in. And I tried for a while. I discovered it right before we started virtual learning because of COVID. So I don't think I'm ever gonna find out how they did it. And I really wanna know. Rating the fidget toys I have in my classroom. The ones that get broken edition. So I know everyone prefers different things, but I personally do not like these ones at all. They're metal and they honestly hurt me. I don't know if you can see where they connect right here, but my students can pop that apart really easily. Then they look like this. They basically create another fidget toy, which is cool. Then they pull the metal apart little by little like this. And once it's all pulled apart, I just throw them away. So they're basically like a disposable fidget toy. These are called snakes. I buy mini versions from my students and they really, really like them. 
I honestly don't get the height because I don't really like playing with them. But they always break the mini ones. There's a little string inside and once it snaps, all the pieces fall apart. Rating the fidget toys I have in my classroom. Sensory edition. And these are slap bracelets and I love how they feel. They're like soft but spiky at the same time, if that makes sense. They're also super easy to clean. They remind me of these toys that I talked about in an earlier video, but I actually prefer the bracelets over the rings. I love these mesh balls, but I can't really have them available to all my students because they break really easily. But listen to them. Don't you love that sound? Okay. <laughs>